Hello all you beautiful people, my name is Zach Dowdy and right now we're waiting for this DIY spot to dry. So I figured why not talk a little bit about my DIY skate bag. So this is like all the tools I have for building DIY skate spots, at least the quick DIY skate spots. It's just like a, a little trinket bag of all the goodies. So I figured kind of talk about all the different things I have in this bag and maybe you can build a DIY skate bag to get some spots going. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Dremel, they actually sent me like a cordless grinder recently. I'm super hyped on it. I'm kind of doing a review about that. So uh, first thing is first, got your Bondo. Bondo is like kind of like the ultimate skate versatile filler tool. It's a good bonding adhesive for like basically like filling cracks or anything like that. Like if you're a street skater, you know all about Bondo. If you don't, it's gonna be a lifesaver. So you can like butt up ledges, you can fix cracks in ledges or on the ground for roll up. Like there's so many different tools for Bondo. It's like everyone needs Bondo basically. Always a little bit because you never know when you end up somewhere and it's cracked and you can just like fix it really quick. The good thing about Bondo too is it dries really quick. Like you can skate it within like 10 minutes, which is really nice. Next thing we have is our crystal clear enamel basically just like to get anything grinding. It's kind of a good alternative than wax. It's like a clear coat on top of concrete. It's really nice to just sort of just make that nice clear coat. And it's also called the salva sauce, the secret sauce for skateboarding. So use it on pool coping. It'll get pool coping grinding really good. Beer can coping or any like rough edges basically too. It'll, it'll help like get it grinding. But when it comes to rough edges, that's when you really want the rub brick. You all know this is like my favorite skate tool for building skate spots. Rub brick, you can pretty much like file anything down. You can make a spot, so many different spots and things with this. You can get the ground smooth. If you want to get the ground smooth, you get the ledge smooth. Or if you have like really harsh coping, um, or if you have a curb that's really rough, you can like smooth out the curb and get it for slappy grinding. I made a video all about like how to do or how to get curbs grinding better, like how to get curves going for slappy grinds. I'll leave a little link down below to some other you know helpful videos for using these tools since we're just talking about them today. But yeah, the rub brick is like a necessity for everyone that is like a skate DIY enthusiast. Next thing we have is some JB Weld, which is kind of like an alternative to Bondo. Basically, I've used JB Weld to like fix up curbs or you can like use it for like this curb right here, for example, there's like holes in the middle. So I'm gonna like fill the holes with JB Weld, kind of like fill cracks with it. It's a little bit of a tighter solution than, than Bondo. And then my new favorite tool, cordless angle grinder from Dremel. Super hyped on this bad boy. It's like a three in one saw. So it's actually like, it's not even a cordless grinder. It's actually a saw, pretty hyped on that thing. And you can uh, remove skate stoppers with that. You can get the ground cut out so you can build skate spots. You can fix up pretty much anything. You can like fix up the coping in between grouts. Um, it's gonna be really versatile. I'm super excited. I haven't like had many examples using that yet because it is a brand new tool. And then uh, some of the last things I have in here, some like scrapers. So this is like scraping for your Bondo, kind of like an additional, you never know when you need this. This is for, like chunking things out. Sometimes you need to like get a thing out of the spot. So this can be like really helpful or especially like prepping things, like you need prep spots. And then what else do we have here? That's pretty much it. Oh, last thing. This is super cool. I got some wax. You don't always want to use clear enamel or lacquer. Sometimes you just want to use wax. And somebody actually sent this to me, uh, actually sent this to my fiance, and then she gave it to me. They sent, them, sent it to her to give to me. I think they like make some other stuff, but yeah, pretty cool bar of wax. That's pretty much everything I have in my skate bag right now for building skate spots. This is like my little versatile bag. So I hope you guys enjoy this quick little video little insight on uh, what's inside my bag. And uh, if you did, leave a comment down below with uh, any questions you have about any of these tools and we can go into the specifics. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. See you guys in the next one. Mash.